G'day guys, today I'm going to take some of the white clouds from the wine barrel ponds and put them into the new anoxic filter pond. This pond here has the mini bog filter with clay balls and the water is being directed into the bottom of the bog, while this one over here has the volcanic sort of rock that we call scoria here in Australia. In this one I'm directing the water directly above the surface of the bog. In both of them the water is clean and clear. I do think that the clay balls are better from a maintenance point of view, but they are quite pricey. And I also think directing water to the bottom of the filter works slightly better than letting it just find the path of least resistance through the filter. But that's one of the things that I love so much about bog filters. Even when things aren't done perfectly right, you still can get fantastic results. Anyway, both of these small ponds have been running for three years, I think. I've had no problems and the fish seem happy. I'm very interested to see if the anoxic filter gives me the same results. <laughs> so catching the fish was nice and easy. As I feed these guys often, they're very used to seeing my bald head. I'm not too sure how many I've pulled out. Um, I'm guessing it's around 50, maybe a few more. I've left about 15 to 20 in each barrel. Uh, one of these barrels I'm going to deconstruct and try the anoxic basket without any water movement, so a pond with no pump. I really want to see if the anoxic baskets are a viable option for people looking at keeping great water quality without a pump. Anyway, I took them over to the anoxic pond. I also will add some rice fish for a bit of colour. And my daughter's decided we should get a yabby and name him Neville Longbottom, <laughs> so I couldn't deny that sound logic. I did add a piece of pipe and hid it under a few rocks in anticipation of Neville's arrival. As you know, I did want an axolotl, but I've got lots of water movement in this small pond and I've read they don't like a lot of movement. So the plan is if the baskets work without the water circulation, I'll put an axolotl in the barrel pond when that's ready. I've also added some eelgrass and duckweed that'll spread over the surface of the pond. That should help give them some hiding spots if they decide to spawn in here. The fish weren't phased by the move and started taking food right away. I do like the white clouds, they're really good looking little hardy fish. So perfect for a small pond like this. I should also mention I never did any water changes on the bog filter ponds. So the anoxic filter will be getting the same treatment. Anyway, that's it for this quick update. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.